So when you're out and about in the woods, um, it's actually quite easy to see whether there are squirrels in the wood without actually seeing the squirrels themselves. And the easiest way is to find the evidence that they leave when they're feeding. So, unfortunately, it's not really possible to tell whether it's red or grey squirrels from the food that they're eating, but you can certainly see if they're around or not. Now, this, this here, this is a cone of um, a plant called Norway spruce, a tree, what you might normally think of as a Christmas tree in actual fact, Norway spruce. And this is quite a substantial cone. It's a big cone and it contains lots of seeds and each of those seeds is worth the squirrel expending the energy to extract and eat. You can tell if there are squirrels around because you find cones like that at the bottom of the tree. That one's a half-eaten cone. Maybe the squirrel dropped it, maybe it was disturbed but uh, you can find those on the ground. If the squirrel's actually done the full works on a Norway spruce cone, that's what you've got. You can tell if it's a squirrel cone or because uh, other things eat cones because they leave a sort of fuzzy edge to it when they've chewed it up. But this one has started at the bottom, as you can see, that's what they do, and they turn it around in their, in their mouths and they nibble off all of the scales and get the seeds out. So. Lots of energy there for a squirrel. These, this is a Sitka spruce cone. Sitka spruce is the normal, uh, normal tree you find in most of the forestry that's planted. It's very fast growing, tolerant of very poor conditions. And the Sitka spruce cone, as you can see, is much smaller than the Norway spruce cone and actually contains smaller seeds and which have a lot less energy. You can see here a squirrel has had a go at eating a Sitka spruce cone here, uh, but hasn't finished it. These are the sort of cones that unfortunately the, the red squirrels will have to deal with and survive on in the coniferous woodland. And that is why, because they have a lower metabolic rate, they're a smaller animal, they can get by with less food than a grey squirrel. A grey squirrel is a much larger, larger organism and needs a lot more energy to survive. It can't survive on just these. That's why the refuges work, because the grey squirrels can't earn a living in there, but the reds can. One of the easiest ways of seeing squirrels is to attract them to one of these, which is a feeder. <coughs> so this is a squirrel feeder and we put bait in the top and we put, fill it up and in the front of it it's got a perspex see-through transparent bit. So the, um, the squirrels can see that it's in there. Squirrels are quite get are very, in, very inquisitive. They will quickly uh, work out how to lift the lid and get their heads in there and have a good feed. They're very easy to make, as you can see. There's nothing much here. It's a plank and you can make the sides and the lid or you can buy them. Um, I'd strongly suggest if you're really into, this, uh, into squirrels and seeing squirrels that you join a local group. Uh, of which there are lots and we'll explain in another video about how to get in touch with your local group um, because they will have squirrel feeders, they'll also have squirrel cameras that we use to, to take photographs. So I'm just showing you this really so you see what we use in the woods to attract the squirrels. So into here we put some bait. So this is the general bait we use for squirrels. It's a mixture mainly of peanuts, maize, and sunflower seeds. We use a mixed bait like this when we don't really know what sort of squirrels we've got around because we can get a fairly good idea of what squirrels are feeding on here by what they leave behind in the feeder. The red squirrels particularly like, like the peanuts and they'll also eat the sunflower seeds but they're not very keen on the maize. However, the grey squirrels, being greedy, will eat pretty well anything, but they will eat the maize a lot. And we found recently that they will preferentially eat the maize, actually. So grey squirrels seem to like maize, and you can see on the surface of the seeds that the maize has been nibbled. The kernels of the maize have been nibbled away by the grey squirrels. So if we find a feeder which has got a lot of nibbled maize in, that makes us suspect that it's probably got a grey squirrel visiting it. When you're first setting up a squirrel feeder like this, obviously the squirrels won't know about it. So you've got to give them a clue that there's a squirrel feeder here. So not only do you put the bait actually inside, but you also put some bait 
to the front of it and some bait on the lid. And so squirrels being arboreal creatures will be able to see that from above and they'll know there's a feeder there. Usually takes three or four days for the squirrels to find the feeders, but then they remember very well and they'll keep coming back to the same place and you can see them. So if you had one of these in your garden, maybe, you'd be able to see, uh, see the squirrels come. Not only squirrels are interested in feeders, lots of other animals are, particularly birds. And we get uh, lots and lots of birds visiting the, the feeders and sometimes uh, really beautiful pictures of woodpeckers and jays and things like that. Also mice. Mice are quite enthusiastic about visiting the feeders as well. And sometimes we'll even get things like badgers because of course bits of the bait fall onto the ground, along come the badger, think great, free food. So they're quite an attractant for lots of wildlife.